What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle and it is October. It's been a really, really long time since we've played any horror games on the channel. They don't come up that often, horror games that actually interest me, that is. A lot of things nowadays seem to be focused on like jump scares and stuff like that. Whereas I tend to be more of a suspense thriller type individual. And those don't come up very often. But this month we've actually got a huge docket of horror games that are coming out. Between Through the Woods to Outlast 2 to Yomawari, they're just all over the place. And so, I wanted to invite you all to play this with me. If you haven't seen Through the Woods, essentially it's a game that takes place in Norse country where there's like Viking ghosts or something. I don't know, I've only seen trailers. But it seems like there's going to be runestones and all kinds of scary stuff going on. So, without further ado, let's play ourselves some Through the Woods, yeah? Exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. So here we are. Red pixel jacket rocking. Actually, I'd rock that jacket right now. That jacket's pretty dope. It doesn't actually get cold enough where I live to wear a jacket like that, though. Like, our winters are very, very mild here. It might only get a couple degrees below freezing. On, like, the worst day, it'll be, like, 14 Fahrenheit. I think that's pretty much like the lowest I've ever seen is like 4 or 5 degrees Fahrenheit where I live. It's not too bad. Not in Celsius, obviously, but in the summer it gets up to like 115 where I live, so... You kind of get the opposite end of the spectrum. It's more or less like hoodie weather where I live, so we're walking down to a dock or something. I mean, I'm your average kid. If you tell me not to go down and mess with the dock, I'm most assuredly definitely going to go down and mess with the dock. It's just the first thing that comes to mind when mom says not to do that. I'd be like, well, Mom, you might have to take one for the team here because I need to find out. Okay, so I can run if I'm holding down the shift key. Here's our baller ass whatever it is that appears to be just a magnet for bird shit. Must have parked it under a tree or something. There's this gnarly tree at my apartment complex where I live where if you park underneath it, like, your car will be solid white by the next day. Just hundreds of birds up in that tree all the time. So where am I exploring at? Am I just like following trails or like what's happening? Oh, here it is. And here's how we get in trouble and get axe murdered. I knew it. Down to the lake we go. And we're rocking it right now. Is his beanie? Oh my god, his beanie is made by the same people that made his jacket. This kid is stylish. This kid's taking care of business. When he goes to the outlet mall, he gets everything at the same place. That's fancy right there. That's fancy schmancy. You can't hang out with this kid unless you got the credit card. Unless you got the credit card. She specifically said not to go down here and mess with the dock, but we're going to do it. Hell yeah, who, does, who doesn't love pizza? He mumbled that one, though. I don't know if his mom heard that one from all the way down at the dock. Back up the road we go. It's kind of a subjective road really it's not really an objective road I although our objective is at the end of it so I guess you could look at it like that it might be an objective road in that sense man look at that door it'd be so easy to burgle sorry my neighborhood's not very nice so I see doors like this and I'm just like yeah this person's doomed you better go get like those windows right there I'm like you better go get one of those safety gates on the outside everybody's houses where I live they have these big steel things on the outsides we had them when I was a kid too some of them had like safety buttons on them so, like, you couldn't get in unless the person inside held down two buttons. Mom, 
mom. Hey mom, wake up. Mm. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, Espen. I'm up. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. Espen, I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. <sighs> Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get a flashlight and I'll come out with you. Yeah, I'll play that noise. The stars, Espen. Not for a second. You gotta go out to the outhouse in the middle of the night in the pitch black? Mm-mm, ain't feeling that. The few times I've had to do that when I was like out in the field doing a survey or something, where it's like 2 in the morning, I don't care. I'll shit and pee right next to my tent. No shame about it whatsoever. I'll be four feet away from my tent. Don't give a damn. You coming? I thought you had to go. I do, just a sec. Oh, the door's got hearts on it. That's how you know it's not going to try and kill us. There are a lot of huge bugs in there, though. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here! We could make some hot chocolate. Mom! Go away! Just wait up the path! I can't go while you're standing there! Okay, little man. If you say so. Apparently our son needs some Flomax or something. He needs help. <laughs> Seriously though, you should see a urologist. So where up the path am I going? Just like back to the car. I'm going this way. Are you done in there, Espen? Espen. Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Espen. Come out. <laughs> Jesus, Espen. What are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? Okay, but don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. <laughs> hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier is broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend that I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing, and I lost him. We lost each other, and I don't know if I can forgive myself or Espen. Espen, why didn't you wake me up? 
Espen wants some breakfast or lunch. We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. I'll have some eggs and bacon. I'm kind of hungry right now. I could rock it. Whoa, they deliver pizza out here? Man, that pizza delivery man. You got to give him a tip, though. That pizza delivery man drove for days to get out here. I'd be so upset if I was that pizza delivery man. Like, oh, where am I delivering this pizza to? The middle of the woods. A place where civilized plumbing does not exist. I loved our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight. And his drawings fascinated me. He soaked up the world and it bled from his imagination to the page in pastels and pen. The process always seemed to distill the harsh world into something pure. For example, over here, he has a viking who is inspecting his blade like, yep, that's a sword. And on this side, we have what looks like a raccoon wearing boots who has decided to burgle a house and is now running away with his ill-begotten gains. Espen, where are you, sir? I can't open those doors. I can go to the outside if I want. Go to the out of the side side. What is this? Hi, Mom. You're always asleep when I wake up. It's really boring going out to play. And then he drew us a picture of shit. <laughs> I don't know how those two things correlate, but hey. Like, Mom, you always wake up late. Here's a picture of shit. Although when she was saying she wasn't going to make him hot chocolate, that's how you know I was a smart-ass kid. I was a kid that was always getting my ass whipped because I just couldn't keep my mouth shut. He's <laughs> like, well, I'm not going to make you hot chocolate now. Oh, Lord, no, say it ain't so. She's not going to put the packet inside the microwave for two and a half minutes. Oh, the intensive labor lost. <laughs> like, I was an asshole kid. I really sincerely was. And if I didn't say it, I definitely thought it. Espen! Ooh, it's freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? Next thing you know, you- Ben, I hope you're not down on the pier. I told you that thing's dangerous. Just me or does it like when this lady talks, it sounds like she kind of got a plug nut. talk to me, little man. Like when she talks, it kind of sounds like she's got like a sinus infection or something. Like she really, really badly needs, I don't know, some Dayquil. Doesn't it though? She sounds a little nasal. I'm just looking out for her health. I don't know. She needs some emergency or something. Hey! Hey! Get away from my son! Jesus! Jesus! Espen! Get away from him! Espen, I'm coming! Damn, she went straight in the water. Oh, oh God, please. Espen, Espen. Espen. No. Espen. Our son just got Viking jacked. I would advise against getting wet like this, though, right before, like, nightfall comes. Especially in a Nordic environment. This does not seem wise. Also, Nordic people, you guys have a lot of folklore about things that want to drag you down to the bottom of lakes and kill you. Espen! Just saying, if I'm in, ever in Norway, I'm not going to go swimming. That's going to be, like, the last task. I ain't trying to mess around with weird, like, googly arm creatures that drag you to the bottom of the lake. Or to the bottom of the ocean. One or the other. They're both terrifying. Dude, this guy docked his longbow, like, all up on your shit. Are you going to allow that right now? You better go fight this guy with mom powers. I'm just saying, my mom could throw hands, so... Shit. That boat looks like it was whittled. 
It also has a fairly grand hole in the bottom of it, which I don't think is... I'm like, no, 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 no. That hole right there is integral to the structure. Without that hole, the engineering, the, the entire thing about this boat, it falls apart. The entire, the entire integrity falls apart without that hole. You just, you have to have that there. Apparently they are aware of the hole in the bottom of the boat and have begun whittling another one. That boat's just makeshift for right now. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, there's a bridge over there. How much you want to bet we're going to cross that bridge at some point? I bet we... Oh, there's like an ancient Viking fort up there. Espen? Shit, this can't be happening. Espen! You can either go that way, or what's this way? Is there like a ravine over here or something? Oh, there's no ravine. I was expecting... One of the branching paths leads you to different stuff. Or if it like matters. It looks like she kind of wants to go up and over that rock right there, but can't quite get it. So mom skills. Not climbing. She's fantastic at losing her kids to Vikings, though. She put all of her points in there. Climbing rocks, however, that's a dump stat. Maybe they both lead like the same way. Hello? ESPN? Where you at? Uh oh. It's Merkstad, where fools get murked all day long. They get murked and worked and then suddenly shirked. Dude, we just discovered like a Viking village. Hello? Go through like a time portal? What's going on right now? Can I go in these houses? Hey, is someone there? Oh, free helmet! Tell me you oh if it was me, I would have picked that up already. They would probably execute me as a Viking thief, but you know what? I gotta have a helmet with little eye holes in it. That's one of my greatest regrets about life right now is that I'm 30 years old and I've never had a helmet with eye holes in it. It's on the bucket list. His, his bed has horsies on the sides of it. People living lavishly out here. Got horse beds and everything. Does this door open? I don't think that door opens, plus it's got scary looking rusty hooks in front of it. I don't want to get tetanus. <laughs> That's the real enemy of this playthrough. It's not the ghost, it's the tetanus. It's the slowly creeping lockjaw. Hello? Do you want me to come back later? Definitely. The perfect response to this situation is to go in everybody's houses and trespass. That's absolutely what we should be doing right now. What do you need so many helmets for? Look at these greedy bastards and their three helmets. Look at Ingvar over here doing well for himself, Mr. Three Helmets. Everybody else in the neighborhood's got one, but not Ingvar. He wears all three of them, one on top of the other, just to rub it in on everybody else. You're like, ha ha, look at my helmets. I have three helmets. You all have one helmet. I am Ingvar. I sound sort of like that guy that does the documentaries. I can never remember his name. He, he's like the German Morgan Freeman, though. You could hear him talk about anything and it works. Is he German? He might not be German. Werner Herzog, that's his name. See, I knew I would get it eventually. Ooh, this guy over here is literate. He's stepping up his Viking game. The old bastard came to the village yesterday eve. The crazen whore son took Radar's boy away. The bastard, no one saw him come, though he set a watch some weeks ago. 
The boy didn't make a sound, the wretched thing. We'd all a mind to go up there at last and put an end to this, but for the gates. The cursed gates won't open for those such as us. All we can do is bide and hope Radar's boy was the last. The corruption of the man. His heart, if he has one, must be rotted as a month-dead swine. And our gods do nothing. A curse on the whole festering pile of them. And a curse on the murdering bastard, Eric. Torstein. He's got to sign it at the end so that everybody knows if they steal his diary who wrote it. There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, later I wasn't so sure. That door did not operate in the fashion that I'm used to doors operating. This door right here seems to have gotten the memo. This door was like, eh, no energy to door right now. Just so tired all the time. I have so much trouble keeping my eyes open anymore. The doors have eyes, by the way, which is clearly a sign of heresy. Uh, there's a shield. See, we could have armed ourselves by now. I would have picked up the shield and the sword by now and the helmet. Just in case this turned out to be an RPG and not a horror game. You never know. Next thing you know, goblins are bursting through the wall. You gotta fight them. Oh, dude, I need a long house like this. This guy was looking down at everybody just like I am the king. The king of all that is before me. Indeed, you down there. Bring me another hock of meat. Back then, meat came in hocks. That was the only measurement. That's how they measured everything. They were like, oh, what is that way over there? Oh, like 14 hocks. Not like H A W K S, like H O C K S. Is that thing right there? I wish I could zoom in. It looks like that might be like a silver coin or something on the table. I yeah, should really, like, I know you focused all of your research points and your hammers into building this bitch in Longhouse, but you might want to focus some research on, like, I don't know, inventing the broom. Just The floor looks a little nappy. And that door just farted at me. We may want to get some oil for it. There are so many swords in here. What are we going to do when we get to the merchant in the next town? And then we need money in order to buy the next badass sword plus one. We don't have any vendor trash right now to get rid of. Look at all these helmets and shields. Can make a fortune. See, in the United States, when you hear this kind of music in the background, you normally assume that you're like in Appalachia somewhere, and we have movies about that particular experience which have taught us what to do and what not to do. A little film called Deliverance. This lady obviously has not seen it, but my guess is that this is going to turn into the Viking version of Deliverance pretty quickly. I will see you all in the next episode of Through the Woods. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one so far. A little bit of a rough start there, but it seems as though we've gotten the game moving at this point. I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. Thank you for stopping on in, and hi-do, everybody!